All right, as you can see, just giving the car a quick once over. I've kind of missed putting something pretty important in. It tends to go here. Got to keep your hole greased. Yeah, you don't want to end up with a, a, a tight hole. What idiot! Um, rather than them at full droop. Ooh, full droop. Welcome back to another video on the Impreza. I am going to be finishing the passenger side in this one and talking up all the bolts. Hopefully get it back down on the deck and then um, drive it out, turn it around, get ready to start the rear. But we'll just see how far we get. So the main thing is finishing off the front end. Driver side's done as you've seen in the previous video, but I'll get the passenger side all done. And as I say, get it back down on the deck and actually see how low the front is with these coilovers. So anyway, yes, let's crack on. Got my hub assembly. So squeeze down here with it. So yes, as you can see now, got the wishbone on. That was a pain because you've got to get that lined up all these bolts here lined up which is oh, the tolerances are so tight on the scoop so anyway i'm gonna get gonna get the uh, hub on so plenty of grease in here because these always oh, got to keep your hole greased yeah you don't want to end up with a tight hole so yes um, get that greased because then I can put the hub on so this is a bit harder one-handed so I'm going to put you down here in a minute yeah, get the hub assembly sorted let's probably put a bit of grease on the cup down here as well just so we are fully greased like I say, I don't want that getting stuck in there in the future if I have to get out. Put that in there. So yes, yeah. Not something. Here's the ABS. side here pick it up. this side doesn't obviously have a washer because the ABS sensor goes on there they normally bolt it on this coil over they've got to place the bolt in here so I actually don't really need this but I'll fit it anyway because I have on the other side so anyway let me get all this bolted up and I'll bring you back well I've um, put the hub on not tightened everything up because I've kind of missed putting something pretty important in. It tends to go here. It tends to spin this round. What idiot! Oh well. <laughs> Luckily, I've not tied it up. So yeah, let me go and grab the the, the drive shaft and uh, pop that in. Then put the hub on properly. <sighs> So here's the original drive shaft, I'm putting it back on. I have cleaned it all up, it's in uh, pretty good condition. I say I put a new one on the driver's side. Um, so yeah, in there, can't really see it, but that is a new drive shaft in there. More to the fact that I have got other drive shafts, I am going to restore the originals and I will put, excuse the rain, I will put one back on there. But for now, I've cleaned up the passenger side one because it's really in good condition giving it a lick of paint and I'm going to put that on for now rather than buy a, non, a new non-genuine like that one is rather fit that for now I'll restore those to mint and then I'll fit those two onto it later down the line but for now this will do it's just me being too fussy as usual so right let's get this on the car and 
the hub back on yet again. So yes. So as you can see, I've got the drive shaft in, I've just knocked the drive shaft pin in. So now the drive shaft is all in. I can now get the hub back on. Nothing like doing things twice, is there? So we're all looking nice in here with the hub on, coil over. So now on to fitting the brake caliper and disc along with the anti-roll bar bracket, uh, sorry, stabiliser link, anti-roll bar link, whatever you want to call it, and the new hoses, Subaru hoses. So get all that on, and then start talking up all the bolts and marking them, um, but I'll get on to that when I do it. So all right, let's, uh, I'll pop me on time lapse and get the caliper on. So yeah, let's crack on. So that's the brake caliper on, all nice and fresh. So next up is doing the brake lines, clipping them all in, getting them into position, and then finishing off the brake pipe, which obviously bolts under there, but then I can find out how much I need to chop off here and finish it off. So I'll get all that done, get all this bolted up, and bring you back once I've done that, okay. Right, as you can see, caliper is on and all the hoses are in, clipped in. And as you can see, I've made a really nice, solid as a rock that. I've made a really nice job, I'm really pleased with that pipe. So that's all in. So basically now, everything on the passenger side is bolted up. So I've just got the talking to do on everything, which I'm gonna go through and do all at the end. So, uh, but yeah, that's that all done. Right, like I said, Everything is bolted up now, both hubs, um, front end, all bolted up. And I will talk everything up and I'm gonna do that in a minute. But first I'm gonna fit my anti-roll bar, which I've paint cleaned, painted all up. Obviously polyurethane brushes like the rest of the uh, front end is. Brand new brackets from, again, import car parts, genuine Subaru ones and genuine new Subaru bolts to put it all in so yeah I'm gonna get that in there and then on to torquing all the bolts up with my uh, AC Delco digital torque wrench so yeah let me get that in and uh, I'll bring you back as you can see under the car I have got the anti-roll bar slid in and I've just loosely connected it up to the drop link now to put these new brackets on, um, I am putting a whole load of, if it can come out, this silicon grease again, because you don't want squeaky bushes with polyurethane bushes squeak like mad if you don't put a whole load of silicon grease on everything. Um, and it will drive you up the wall. So yes, I'm gonna get these all siliconed up and bolted on, and I will bring you back when I've done that. So yes, let me crack on with that. Right, just thought I'd quickly bring you back just to show you a tip that I do, and that is mole grips. Clamp the bolt up, uh, clamp the uh, bracket up to the uh, chassis, pop your bolt in, it just holds it in place, because trying to put the bolt in and push this up is nigh on impossible. So yeah, mole grips, clamp it up, holes all in line, bang the bolt in. Job's good and mint. And there we go. One anti-roll bar in. So yes, 
There you go. And I say it's not concourse under here, and it is a bit oily, but it is a Subaru. So, but yeah, my arch is looking good. So anyway, let me get uh, under the, from under the car and start talking some bolts up. Right, onto talking up bolts that we've done. I have my list here. If you can see all that. There you go. That is everything I've found on the manual. But I've just then put it into a bit of a simpler list for me just so I can quickly rattle through them. Once I've done them, I do mark them with a pen so I know it's talked. I also, when talking these, I will be putting the jack under the hub, putting some weight onto there. Rather than putting the car down on the ground, I'll just put some weight on um, the hub so it feels like the car's down before talking them um, rather than them at full droop. Woo, full droop. So yes, so let me get on with that. This is my torque wrench AC Delco Digital. Um, that's what I'll be using. So yes, I will get some bolts torqued and uh, come back and show you what I've done. So just thought I'd bring back, show you doing strut tops, which are 14.5 foot pounds, plus or minus 4.3. So that means you can go either way of that. I try and go to what the actual settings is. Set my torque wrench up, so you'll hear it beep when I get to it. Beep quite quick, there you go. Just to confirm, yeah, there you go. So that's those, I've already done those two, so that's all done. And then as I say, right, so yeah, I get my paint marker and I literally just mark the bolts to show that I have taught them more for my peace of mind really that I know I've done it well that took longer than I thought it was going to but everything is now talked up and marked throughout the whole front and even these so all that's left to do now is pop the wheels on and lower it back down to the ground and see where the coilovers are set. So uh, I'll get the wheels on and as I say I'll, uh, yeah, hopefully it's not too low but we'll soon find out. Okay, moment of truth. How low is it going to be? Oh, she looks low. Have a look. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. Obviously, it's not settled yet. So, should be the old uh, jump up and down on the old car. Yeah. Bit of an arch gap, but still could go lower, I think. Anyway, we'll see what it settles like, but I'll leave it at that for now. Next thing is, I need to now clear all this up, bring the car out, turn it around, put it back in so I can start on the rear. So uh, that will be my next job. Anyway, let's go on with that. As you can see, just giving the car a quick once over. Basically, to get rid of all that dust that was on it. And how much better does it look? Yeah, there's rust on that arch. 
standard scoop stuff but it is pretty solid everywhere yeah so pleased at that looking good not pleased about the fact that I've just caught it though getting it out of there out the um, container garage thing so that's annoying me but other than that looking a lot better for a uh, quick quick rinse off so now I'll end the video there because all I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the car around and put the car in forward so the rear end's ready to start stripping down so uh, yes anyway thanks for watching usual things like subscribe comment you know let me know what you think if you like it don't like it just let me know so anyway i'll catch you soon cheers